Cairo, a young girl whose parents are both lawyers who work abroad, is shown in the movie as a lonely little girl who turns to writing as a way to escape the loneliness of her circumstances. Despite her isolation, Cairo makes her way to school every day by walking through the woods in her high heels and miniskirt. There, she meets her teacher, Professor Jonathan Miller, a middle-aged man who once had aspirations of becoming an author but eventually failed. Although Jonathan takes on a fatherly role in Cairo's life, Cairo secretly finds Jonathan admirable. They discuss literature until Winnie, Cairo's friend and Jonathan's returning student, shows up and invites Cairo to eat with her. After the girls leave inquiring about Cairo's reading preferences, Jonathan looks through the books on her desk. Suddenly, his friend Boris appears, takes the book Jonathan was reading, and starts reading aloud a paragraph that is explicit in a playful way. When Boris notices a book Jonathan wrote, Jonathan is shocked to see that Cairo has his book. Jonathan tries to stop Boris from reading the inappropriate material, but Boris won't listen. Jonathan came home and tried to initiate sex with his wife, but she appeared to be too preoccupied, leaving Jonathan furious. The following day, Jonathan confided in Boris about his disappointing weekend. As they chatted, they noticed Cairo emerging from the nearby woods. Jonathan, still agitated from the day before, stared at Cairo as she approached, Cairo unaware of the tension, and greeted them with a friendly hello after removing her headphones. Feeling sexually frustrated, Jonathan tries to keep his composure by conversing casually with Cairo. Cairo finds Winnie's essay ideas too commonplace, so Winnie abruptly advises Cairo look for essay topics from charming professors. Cairo is confused and finds it strange that they are so different in age, but Winnie, being flirtatious, reassures Cairo that it's okay and says that Jonathan seems like a nice, gentle man, so even though Cairo is initially hesitant, she won't feel uncomfortable going on their first date. As the days pass, Cairo's interest in sex grows and her desire becomes overwhelming. She constantly looks for Jonathan, indicating that she is attracted to him. One day, Jonathan approaches her quietly from behind and whispers that they should meet in his office after class. There Jonathan recognizes her talent and assigns her to write a short story in the style of her favorite author, believing that if she succeeds in this task, she will pass the entire semester with flying colors. The professor also congratulates Cairo on her excellent work in one of her recent pieces of writing. He is impressed by her ability to memorize certain lines from her writing. Cairo sees this as the ideal chance and enthusiastically accepts the challenge. Suddenly, Cairo stuns her professor by admitting that she has read his books, leaving him dumbfounded. She then quotes a passage from his book that she had memorized. The professor is thrilled and acknowledges that the book Cairo quoted was the first he had ever written, which has special meaning for him. Later, they discuss and debate Eliot's poetry, sharing ideas and viewpoints. As Cairo smokes, she offers Jonathan a cigarette, which he accepts. On the first day of school, Cairo chooses to change her appearance. She brings Boris and Miller coffee, and they all appear more at ease as they joke around and share a cigarette. Cairo informs Winnie that although the professor remains silent about her new appearance, she is aware that he later expressed approval of it. Cairo informs Miller that she wants to write her story in the style of renowned novelist Henry Miller, who is well known for writing about love and sex. Although this might not be a good idea because it could lead to problems at school, Cairo changes her mind and believes it could make her story more intriguing. When he accidentally takes Cairo's cell phone, she asks him to return it personally. When Miller arrives at her parents' mansion, Cairo welcomes him in a sexy dress and kisses him in the rain. Inspired, she writes an erotic short story about the sexual relationship between a teacher and his student. While Miller reads it alone, he cannot help but get aroused, and eventually masturbates to it. Miller declares that the story is unacceptable and demands Cairo to change it, but she calls him out for his cowardice and hypocrisy. Offended by Miller's rejection, Cairo sends the story to the school's vice principal Joyce Manor to expose a possible affair between them. She also takes advantage of Winnie's attraction to her by convincing her to send sexual photos of themselves to Fillmore, leading them to undress and kiss passionately. 
the vice principal questions both Cairo and Miller separately about their relationship. Despite claiming that nothing inappropriate had happened between them, Miller has to take the full responsibility as the adult in the situation, resulting in his suspension. This causes a rift in his friendship with Fillmore, who blames him for not knowing his limits as a teacher. An argument with Beatrice about what happened also prompts Miller to finally vent his repressed anger at his wife and point out the toxic nature of their marriage. Realizing what Cairo's actions had done to Miller, Winnie asks her to withdraw the charges against him, but Cairo refuses, calling Miller's downfall her greatest achievement to date. She writes her experiences into her admission essay in the same style Miller used in his book. Miller, having reached rock bottom but inspired for the first time in years, decides to write a new book. Please subscribe for more movie.